Got a problem? What I need is your mind in confusion, but something to fix. Looking for a solution. Gotta find what we need. Gotta go investigate it. Think it out. Go design. Get ready to create it. Check it in, check it over, try it out, go to test. If the problem is solved, this solution is best. Go and get up and go, go take your bastards. Once again, now do you know what time it is? Well, it is Techno Busters time, and we are taking you on a journey you will not forget. Now, the last time we were here, we came across a slight problem. Now, can you guys please refresh everyone's memory? Lesejo's trying to help his mom to look after some small kids while their parents go to church. Mm. But these little ones are running all over him. But no, I mean, how are we going to help them? We are going to build an adventure playground with all sorts of stuff to play on. You know what? That is a great idea, but that's all because... Oh yeah! Now in case you guys are wondering who these two cool texters are that I'm with in the studio, well give it up for Snare and Roy. Guys, say what's up to the people. Hello! Oh yep! Now these two texters come from Hilditch Primary, the same school where Kamita and Lisejo are from. So why are you guys here? Well, we saw Lisiko and Kamita on techno buses, and we think what they're doing is cool. So some of their friends in grade four decided to help. Well, cool, let's not waste any more time. It is time for us to know exactly what you guys are thinking. It is time for us to start reading the letters. Now, the next letter is the most exciting because it helps us start today's show. It comes all the way from Mr. Kumeto, who owns a shop in Hilditch. And I'm gonna let my main man, Mr. Roy, read it. Hi, Techno Busters. I saw your show last week, and I also come from Hilditch. Being a member of the Hilditch community, I felt I had to help. So I've donated some cardboard boxes to you guys to help you get started on building things. Maybe it will help? I hope so. Thanks, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Isn't that awesome? Boxes, boxes, boxes. They come in all shapes and sizes and have different uses. Now, some of our Texas out there have been brainstorming different advantages of boxes. So take a look. Brain, storm. A group of people think and come up with many ideas around a topic. People say if an idea comes into your head, we should write it down and talk about it. So why do you think your box was made? This one's for toothpaste. It's a container. It's so that you can put your toothpaste away nicely so it doesn't make a mess. They have to put things in boxes for the shops. If the toothpaste wasn't put in boxes, they wouldn't be able to pack it away nicely on the shelves. Yeah, boxes stack nicely on top of each other. And the boxes can fit nicely into bigger boxes. This box is for washing powder. They make it easy to open from here. So if you need it, you can pour it out easily. Boxes are easy to cut holes in. Look! <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys say? Do you think those boxes from Mr. Gourmet are going to come in handy? I think so, but hmm. we may also have a problem. What is it? Well, what can we do with all these cardboard boxes because they are so weak? Hmm. Yeah, what will happen if they get rained on? They'll get wet and soggy. I love it. You guys are both right. I mean, you guys are really thinking. But now, when we come across a problem, we design a solution. That's why they call us the Techno Busters. Now, remember this from the last time? <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Uh, well, our Techno Buster has been doing a whole lot more investigation into boxes and what we need to do to get them to work for us. Hello, Techno Busters. The best way to find out about something is to take it apart. And I promise I'm not climbing on top of any more boxes until I find out exactly how they are made. That is why we took our Techno Camera to a factory to find out all we need to know about boxes. The guys at the factory told me the best way to find out about boxes is to take them apart. Like this. 
If glue flaps have been used on the box, carefully unstick it without damaging the box until it is eventually flat like this. Cool, hey? Now that it's flat, it is... Two-dimensional. You can measure its length. And its width. If I fold it back together again, it will be three-dimensional, which means that we can easily measure the width, the length, and the height. So you see, you can make your own boxes, any shape and any size. Just take a look at this. Okay guys, hope you're watching because this is how you make your own boxes. Once you have unpacked the box into its original shape, trace around the flat 2D shape onto another piece of cardboard. Then cut out the shapes which are known as templates. Then you can use a ruler to mark the parts where the fold was by using a dotted line. This is now the pattern or the template you can use for making any other boxes of the same design. After constructing your box using the seam lines and glue the sides into place, you are now ready to decorate your own box the way you like. Each box can be eye-catching and brightly colored. Wow, that is totally cool, guys. But how are we going to use them? We saw last time the small children like to pack one thing into another. We're going to make different sized boxes that fit into each other. Now that is awesome. Now whether we make boxes ourselves or we use boxes from Mr. Gourmet, we can think of many ideas how to use them for different things on the playground. Some Texans have been busy with pen and paper doing exactly that. I have an idea. If we can find a big box, we can make it look like a car that the other children can play with. My idea is to take a box and turn it upside down to make it into a house. So what do you guys think? I think the only problem is that they're not strong enough. What will happen if they get drained on? They get all soggy and the kids won't be able to play with them anymore. Hmm, but technology's got the answers, guys. Now this is where the process of lamination comes into place. Lammy what? <laughs> Lamb. N A Shin. Lamination. Lamination is the layering of material. You glue one layer on top of another layer, and each layer makes it thicker and stronger. Well, you might think that it's going to take a long time to build so many layers, but there's a trick we can use so that it is done easily and quickly. One of our technobusters went out to find out how. Now we know that lamination makes things stronger, but first let's find out why. You will see that many materials, like this fabric, are stronger in one direction than another. This depends on the direction or grain of the fibers. In other words, it is stronger against the grain. This is a method of processing materials to make them stronger. Lamination works very much the same way. In laminated materials, layers of material are arranged so as to make the material stronger. Right, so how will we laminate the boxes we need to make? First, we're going to need newspaper, our box, sandpaper, a pair of scissors, glue to stick our box with, paint brushes, and homemade glue. Lay a double sheet of newspaper flat on the table. Smear glue onto it so that the whole sheet is covered. Place the second sheet of newspaper on top of the glued sheet. Smear glue onto it so that this whole sheet is also covered. Continue doing this until you've used at least seven sheets. Do not put glue on top of the last sheet. Cut the newspaper into thin strips, about three to four centimeters wide and 10 to 15 centimeters long. These strips of newspaper will be used to laminate your box. Using your homemade glue, stick your strips around your cardboard box. Have one layer going in one direction and the next layer in the other direction. And keep going like that until you have used all the strips. 
Leave in a warm, dry spot, and when it is quite dry, you will have a very strong structure. Rub lightly with sandpaper to smooth any rough places. Now you can decorate it by painting with a white paint and then adding colors and patterns. Mmm, very nice if I can say so myself. I hope the process will be useful to the kids in Hilditch. Back to you, Techno! Well, big ups, Texter, and thank you! Well, while we were checking out those reports, Roy had an interesting question. So what was your question, Roy? It just seemed like we were going to need a lot of glue. And where are we going to get it if we can't afford it? Well, we'll do what we always do. We'll make it. Make it? Got any ideas, Techno? Yeah, I do. I'll show you how to make homemade glue. It's quick, easy and cheap. All you'll need is boiling water, tap water, a bowl, something to mix with and flour. Place a cup or two of flour in a bowl. Add a tiny bit of tap water to the flour and make a paste. Add boiling water. It must actually be boiling when you add it. Stir quickly. When it turns translucent, it is ready. Translucent means it's see-through. Use the glue immediately to make the laminated strips that you'll need for your boxes. Keep your mind on the job, gotta keep it together. Take care, work clean, think smart and be clever. Well, you'll end up with a laminated box like this. Hard and strong. Is it waterproof? Well, like everything else, we can make it waterproof. No way! <laughs> Just ways. And all we need is a little bit of varnish, guys. But we'll have to wait until the structure is complete. Then what we'll do is use a brush and some varnish, and then we'll add three thin layers of varnish. So go ahead, try it. Cool! Well, now these are the boxes that we varnished earlier on. But now, how do we know that they are what we want? We evaluate them. E. Val. U. Eight. Evaluate. evaluate. To evaluate something means that we must test it. Well, I think I've tested my varnish box, but I think it passed the test. It doesn't get soggy and it's still strong. I wish I could say the same for me. Well, what we have done today is show you how to make strong shell structures. We call these shell structures because it is like a tortoise or a seashell. Inside it is hollow and there's an outside covering. Shell structures can either contain something or it can protect what is inside. We can use these shell structures as models for our adventure playground. But what if some guys will want to sit on them and stuff? Well, you know what? Next time we meet, we'll make sure that we make them even stronger. But we'll talk about that when we see each other again. So for myself, the workshop, and the rest of the techno busters, until next time, bye! Bye! <laughs>